Today we have a little pop culture for you, a little Civil War history lesson for you as well. And beyond, as part of our Black History Month series, WCPO 90s reporter Allie Kramer here in the studio talking about the impact Buffalo soldiers had in the Civil War and in the years beyond. And Adrian Kristen, Buffalo soldier may sound familiar, right? The 1983 Bob Marley song, you're either humming it right now, maybe you're Googling it, I will spare you my singing this morning, but you've got to go back more than 120 years before that to get the real Buffalo soldiers. The Buffalo soldiers were all black units that were formed just in the, the meat of the Civil War. National Park Ranger Reginald Murray travels the Midwest to educate groups about Buffalo soldiers. But the Buffalo soldiers helped settle the West. No matter how you look at it, they help settle the West. So Murray often becomes Edgar Aston from Claremont County, who served in the Civil War. Runaway slaves, uh, freedmen would take on the name of their masters or take on the name of other soldiers. Fighting for the Union, they were initially known as the United States Colored Troops. They did not get the name and distinction of Buffalo Soldier until the Lakota Sioux gave them that name out west. And that's where Murray also got his education about Buffalo Soldiers. And they gave him the name Buffalo Soldier out of respect because the hair on the soldier's head was nappy and curly like the hair between, between the horns of a buffalo. And they were given the name Agashita Tatanka. Soldier resembles buffalo. Murray says he likes talking to kids like this group at the Winton Hills Rec Center to inspire them to do great things. They were that forgotten hero. And so to give them that sense of, you know, you can do a lot of things, you can achieve whatever you wanted. They had the, they had the gumption to enlist in the military and take it, but they were doing it for a purpose. They did it to save their families. Uh, they did it to support their country. Now we bring you this story today because Murray is actually hosting a special reenactment at the Heritage Village Museum that's inside Sharon Woods tonight at 7 o'clock and seats are still available. You can also catch him at the William Howard Taft House that's on February 25th at 12 and 2. And you guys, it's interesting because he's actually a National Park Ranger mm -hmm. who is stationed right there at the Taft House. So um, it's neat to see how he kind of runs it all, wears all the hats there, yeah. and then is able to offer like this history lesson.